Hi, and welcome to your uh, Thursday morning. It's always different here. A very happy December. First of December, you might notice uh, there is uh, someone missing. Uh, that's because Holly is busy doing something that a lot of parents up and down the country can relate to. She is at Chester's Nativity Play, and she joins us now. The line is very dodgy. You've dropped out so many times. We're worried that we wouldn't get you. But you're there for the moment, so explain what's happening. Well, it's all very exciting. I'm at Chester School. Uh, the class are getting ready because at quarter past ten they are all going on stage. Uh, you say nativity, there is a nativity of sorts, but we're actually following Clarence the camel, who is on a journey to find his home. Uh, so will he get there? I don't know. In fact, I can see behind the camera here there's lots of children dressed as Christmas puddings and gingerbread men. So it's all going off here. So what is Chester? What's Chester playing? Chester is Father Christmas, right. who I think prefers parents. Um, so, yes, he's a very, very important role. He's full of lots of stuffing uh, and he's looking super cute. Has he got lines? Has he had to learn some lines? Yeah, he does. I mean, the only one I know is Ho Ho Ho. I'm hoping <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this is you're, do you're doing, you, you are doing what parents up and down the land are doing now. Yes. Yeah, it is. And it's lovely to see. I mean, I've got my tissues in my pocket. I am ready to have a cry because it's always very emotional. But it's the 1st of December and it's the perfect way to start Christmas. I have to say, this is the weirdest thing because holding the camera, holding my phone that I'm talking to is the headmaster, Mr. H. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. H. <gasps> Normally, when I see a headmaster, I'm in all sorts of trouble, but he's actually holding the phone. So this well, is thank amazing. you to him. Uh, don't miss anything, so get in there now. And I know that as soon as it's finished, uh, we're whisking you back as quickly as possible. You'll be here later in the show. I will. I'm running there as quickly as possible. And thank you for letting me come here. It means the world. It really oh, does. Oh, you can't thank miss you. that. No, definitely not. We'll see you in a bit and have a lovely morning. Love to Chester. Thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. See you later. Uh, well, we're no strangers to uh, nativities going wrong on this morning. Here's, <laughs> here's one with Richard and Judy from 1994. Mary, it's a very long way to Bethlehem. How are we going to get there? Don't worry, you're so real, Mary. Aww. Aww. Good night. Do you want to say <laughs> Mary's lines for her? She says... Don't Come worry, on. Joseph. I think you should take the donkey. Then you won't be too tired. I think I'm going to have to you, go and give Mary a couple. Yeah, I think you should. Come on, you can sit with me. Mary is now probably a captain of industry somewhere <laughs> and absolutely thrilled that we've shown that. Uh, thank you for sending in your pictures of your children's nativities. Uh, Lisa says, my little innkeeper's wife in her first nativity this year. Uh, Kate says, my son could choose to be whatever character he wanted. He chose to be a dog. Uh, we've got Nicola, my son John at nursery playing Joseph. Sophie says, this is our beautiful heart hero. Amelie in her first nativity is the wonderful sheep we've ever seen. Melanie says, not happy with my homemade cow costume. Oh, I think it's good, actually. That's all right. Uh, Katie says, our beautiful sheep Ella ready for her nativity play. Uh, Hannah says, my angel hunter in his... First nativity. Uh, here's another lovely one. Katie, my daughter is going to be a camel in her nativity. Uh, Holly says, this is my shining star. And Heather says, my daughter Abigail, who was the innkeeper for her nursery's nativity. Uh, so thank you for those. Keep them coming in. We've got time. We'll do a, little, a few more a little bit later on. Um, and we will see Holly later as well, as soon as she's watched... It doesn't sound much like an nativity, but as soon as she's done that, then we'll uh, have her over there when she gets back in later. Uh, with the sort of Advent starting, um, it can mean only one thing, and that is the return of uh, Elf on the Shelf. Uh, we're joined now in the studio... <laughs> who, was, <laughs> <laughs> who has sat through my whole opening of the show and the chat with Holly and the pictures and out of the corner of my eye, Charlie has been sitting on the shelf. <laughs> Trying not to jingle. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Charlie Brian from uh, Leicester who's dressing as one of Santa's helpers every day this month for a very special reason. Uh, Charlie, thank you for coming in today. It's okay. So um, you are you're a <laughs> you're a mum, you're a carer. Yeah. Um, and uh, um, what are you doing? 
So I'm dressing as an elf 24 seven for four weeks to raise money for wishes for kids. Right, tell me about the charity. They, it's a Leicester based charity that have been running for about 20 years and they grant wishes for children uh, up to and including the age of 18 that are terminally ill, suffered severe mental or physical abuse mm. or have life limiting conditions. Well, it's an amazing charity. You've, I think you've raised £400 so, so far. far. Hopefully yeah. your appearance on the show today is going to boost that even, yeah. uh, even more. There's your page. So that's what it looks like <laughs> if you yeah. want to go and obviously donate to a very, very good... We're going to add £1,000 to that. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Thank so you're you. at £1,400, or you will be in a minute when uh, our boss gets his hand in his pocket. <laughs> um, for you, well, where will you be sitting? Which shelves will you be on? Where are you going to be? Um, well, I'm currently on this show. Yes. Uh, Sunday, I'll be doing the Rudolph run at Bradgate Park. Um, although I won't be running, I'll jingle too much. Mm. And just here, there and everywhere. So Christmas shopping, even the dinner, school, you know, <laughs> cooking the kids dinner, school runs. Um, everything, anything that happens in the next four weeks, I'll be an elf. What do your family think? Um, they're used to me because I'm, I'm always, <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy. Yeah. I just do things. You say you're a very spontaneous me. person. What yes. does Zach, your husband, think? Um, again, he's, he's just used to it. It just goes, oh, and then it just carries on. <laughs> and, and you said that you're even elf-like at night. Yep, I've got elfy pyjamas. <laughs> Have you? Yep. Elf pyjamas. Uh, I don't wear the bells to bed, though. Well, Zach will be thrilled with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck. Thank uh, you so And much. I hope you raise a whole load of money for the charity. It's I absolutely so. brilliant. I don't know. Maybe you can sit there for a while if you want to. Um, yes. Yeah? I will do. Yeah, no, you will. Otherwise, I'm going to jingle all the way out. <laughs> no, so, well, so stay there in that case. Um, and uh, and I'll, I'll do some more of these whilst you sit there. It's quite disconcerting to have you sitting there whilst I'm <laughs> reading these out. But anyway, Vivian says, uh, my elf is back along with his wife and uh, Elflet. Uh, Sarah says our elves brought our advent calendars. Oh, yeah, advent calendars today. Uh, Heather says this was my workstation when I arrived at the office today. And uh, Sarah says our elf turned up with a lovely Lego advent calendar and a mess. Let's do this one. Our elves arrived with treats, says Natalie. Thank you for those. Thank you very much indeed. Right, keep sending in your elf photos as well and we'll try and show some more a little bit later on. Charlie is waving there, but you didn't see it. So let's just have another look. Off you go, Charlie. There we are. <laughs> Right, here's what else is coming up today. She's helping us feel beautiful this Christmas. Nadine Baggett is here with a special gift guide. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, the countdown's on, but I've done all of the hard work for you. We have the best beauty buys that you can shop from your sofa with ease. Lovely. We'll see you a little bit later. Starting the uh, beginning of December with Phil Vickery. He's going to join us with some festive treats. What are you making today? Well, today I'm making eggnog latte. We spoke about it a few weeks ago, and also mince pies with a, a slight different twist on the pastry this year. And a bit later on, we'll be talking all things turkey. Your method of turkey, that's the one we use every year. Well, I think it's my 43rd year I've done it. So yeah, it works every way. But we're gonna talk about crowns this year and different sizes of crowns, whole joints, um, stuffed joints, frozen turkey, fresh turkey, the whole lot. But will you mention how you do your turkey? Absolutely, sir. Because it is foolproof. Thank you very much. And quicker than normal as well. Uh, two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah, thank you. See you in a bit. Uh, also, get ready for a trip down memory lane. This is it. The winner of The X Factor 2005 is... Seventeen years after winning the X Factor, Shane Ward is back to perform the song that helped him get to Christmas number one. And as well as all of that, from flawless skin to incredible eyes, Charlotte Tilbury shares a winter makeup masterclass. That's at half past ten. We're meeting the pug, who's hoping to be crowned the UK's ugliest dog at 11.40. Um, we're talking fun and fairy tales with the stars of some of the country's biggest pantos at 5 to 12. And as winter ailments start to kick in, today we are reopening the doors of the This Morning Surgery. Dr Zoe will be taking your calls. Who would you like to hear from today? Anybody. So whether it's yourself, whether it's your children, we know that young people are being infected with all sorts of bugs and viruses at the moment, or whether it's an older relative, friend or neighbour. If you've got a question for me about anything health-related, 
please give us a call. All right, Zoe, thank you. You can give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44. You can download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Before all of that,